Hello everyone, welcome to problem solving tutorial. This is me Mahir. Today we will be solving UV online judges cubes problem. In this problem it is said that given a positive integer n, you will have to find two positive integers x and y such that n is equal to x cube minus y cube. So the problem statement is pretty simple, no explanation needed. In input, it is said that input file contains at most 100 lines of inputs. Each line contains a positive integer capital N and N will be greater than 0 and less than or equal to 10,000 and the input is terminated by a line containing a single 0 and for each line of input we have to output either x and y if there is a there is a pair of x and y such that x cube minus y cube is equal to n or we have to print no solution okay so now how do we solve this so, so when, we, when we look at it first it must we must be feeling like how can how on earth can we find these this such two numbers that x cube minus y cube is equal to n we have to search through a long list of numbers in order to find that. Well, well, another thing before um, jumping into problem solving, it is said that if there is no such integer values of x and y, then produce no solution. We have mentioned that earlier, and it is also said that if there is more than one solution, then output the one with the smallest value of y. That means if there are two pairs of x and y such that x cube minus y cube is equal to n, then we will choose the one which has the lesser value of y. Okay, so now to solve this problem, the most crucial information that we have here is this. That means the range of n. n is basically if, any, uh, if there is no solution, then that's a completely different case. But if there is a solution, however, n will be the difference between two cubes. n will be difference of two cube numbers. And, if we, and it is said that n can be maximum, n can be, in, n's highest value can be 10,000. Well, let's think about hundred the cube of hundred is well let's draw it on paint it okay so the cube of ten is sorry hundred is so let's think about hundred the cube of hundred is 10 to the power 6, a very large number. Okay, now the cube of 99 is nine seven zero two nine nine. Okay, now what is the difference between them? Hundred cube minus ninety nine cube is two nine seven zero one, and this is greater than the range of n that was given in problem statement. That means no matter what pair we choose, the value of x, that is a larger number, will always be lesser than 100. That means value of x can't be larger than 100 because if we, if, well, well, it's like this. The, the larger the value of the pairs are, the larger their difference of cube is. So, if, if we take a larger number than 100, then difference between that number's cube and 
any number lesser than that skew will be greater than this. So no matter no matter well so that means the value of x can't be larger than 100. So what we'll have to do is we have to well if the value of x is larger than 100 then the difference can never be lesser than 10,000 that is the given range of capital N this one so what we'll have to do is simply run a loop from 1 to 100 and another loop from 1 to 100 and we will check if the first will we will just check if there is a pair such that the first first loop cube is like minus second loop iterator cube is equal to capital N that will just give us our desired result if there exists one so let's get into coding first we'll be taking in as input and we will check that it's if it's zero or not if it's zero we will just terminate it so n is not equal to zero okay now what we'll have to do is we'll have to run those loops but before that first we'll take two variables x and y which, which is our result, which, which are actually our results. So initially we will give y a very large value. It's any, any random value, which is very large. Now we will run a loop. 1, 2, 100. The second loop will be from 1 to, well, how long do we, we, do we need to run this loop? Since the value of x will always be larger than y, because value of capital N is greater than 0, so value of x will always be greater than y. So, we don't have to run it after i so basically we will run the j loop from 1 to i now we will check if i cube minus j cube is equal to n then well we can update x to i and update x to i and update y to j we can do that but here is another thing if there exist several solution more than one solution then the output will be the one with smallest value of y so we will check another thing that the current j is lesser than our already existing y Initially, the value of y is a very large number. So, if we get the first hit, if, if, if we find the first match of iq minus j cube equal to n, j will always be lesser than y. But then again, if we get another hit of iq minus j cube equal to n, we will check then if our new j is lesser than y or not. If it's lesser than, lesser than y, then y will be updated. If it's not, then there is no need to update y, since y is, all, is still the lowest value. Okay. Now that our calculation is done, we will check if value of y is still this number, this large number. If y is still this large number, then we haven't found any pair of x and y yet, such that x cube minus y cube is equal to n. So we print 
no solution. If that's not the case, then we will print the value of x and y. Okay, let's check the output. For 7, we are getting 2 and 1. For 37, we are getting 4 and 3. And for 12, there is no solution. For 0, the process is terminated. So it seems to be working fine. So let's submit the code. And it is accepted. So our approach is correct. Well, thanks for watching.